Well, Mike, we just got an update less than an hour ago from police saying while this has been a hectic day, they don't want to lose sight of the fact that a man's life was taken earlier today. But we do now know that police are looking for this man, 26 year old Paul Dimmick. He stands about five feet, six inches tall with blue eyes and blonde hair. Now, police and SWAT teams have been searching for Dimmick since shortly after 11 this morning when Justin Lee was shot on Hanover Street. Now he was taken to the hospital where where he was pronounced dead. The ensuing search blocked off multiple streets right around Central High School, where students were held until about 8.30 tonight. Now, police say Dimmick is to be considered armed and dangerous. He should not be approached. I don't want to lose sight that a man lost his life tonight. And I don't want to lose sight that our officers were put in harm's way searching for this armed subject. And without a doubt, our priority is that we're going to keep the community safe and that's where these difficult st decisions come into play. <laughs> now, in the meantime, there were a lot of emotional reunions at Hillside Middle School tonight. You see there a mother and daughter hugging, kissing, just glad to see each other after a stressful day. Central High School had been in a secure campus mode since early this afternoon while that manhunt was ongoing, meaning all of the students had to stay inside their classrooms, remain quiet and stay still. It was a chaotic and stressful day for them as well as their waiting parents. But around 8 o'clock tonight, the police department and school district began putting those students on buses classroom by classroom and bringing them here a few miles down the road to Hillside School to be reunited. Parents say this was a stressful day with their kids in that school, so close to a SWAT team and a search for a suspected murderer, but they say they're grateful that they are heading home together finally. It was scary and it was really hard not to have like a panic attack while like the officers like running back and forth. It was nerve wracking, but I mean, they did the right thing. They kept them all where they're safe. So we didn't know what was going on either yet. So it was like just confusion and um, just waiting to see what happens. Even though it's pandemonium right now, we're all happy parents, even though everybody's aggravated. They should definitely look at their side, the bright side and say that, you know, we're going home with our kids tonight. And that's the main concern. Now, just about an hour ago, it was very chaotic still here at the Hillside School as parents were still waiting to be reunited with their kids. There's about 1,200 students, so hundreds of parents had come here to try and find their children. As you can see now, very quiet here tonight. All of those students have been reunited with their parents. However, we do know that search continues for Paul Dimmick, suspected of shooting and killing Justin Lee earlier this morning. Live in Manchester, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.